Ukraine uh, to to meet up with our uh, team in uh, in the Western Ukraine. But I I I couldn't miss the chance to talk to you. Um, basically, yesterday we had this absolutely insane bit of propaganda that sneaked into the telegram channels and even some of the more or less serious media I uh, still being you know social media but being more or less reliable and uh, basically um, quoting some more or less reliable sources they spread the fake news that was there for almost half an hour making us all nervous and they misquoted Lloyd Austin uh, talking in in Tel Aviv, I believe, and uh, basically it was the state of alert in Ukraine for half an hour when everyone was expecting a new war in the Middle East. And uh, we were the myself and Kostish, uh, our partner for the uh, Monday and Tuesday broadcast. Everyone was uh, basically, you know, in the state of red alert. What the heck was that, Victor? How could they happen? And was there anything? Um, uh, like, uh, was there anything like this in, in Israeli media, in, 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 in the Middle East, too? First of all, guys, thank you for having me, and kudos for doing that in English, finally. It is important. Uh, as for those fake news that the, um, I witnessed myself uh, yesterday, uh, that was a, a quite, quite a good example of uh, misunderstanding. I, I hope so, at least. It was a misunderstanding or mistranslation of uh, um, of the uh, press conference that actually uh, took place in Tel Aviv yesterday was uh, uh, American uh, Secretary of Defense and an Israeli uh, Minister of Defense. Uh, actually, what was said was totally different. But it is a Middle East. Uh, as you said, it was Caucasus and, and Georgia, uh, and now it's it's Middle East and everything is possible here. So we have a complicated situation. And of course, uh, um, obviously that uh, such uh, misunderstanding can, uh, could be possible uh, every day because uh, that actually can be true. That actually can be true, but uh, we do not know. And that wasn't said. Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. Uh, in the fog of war, uh, things you don't know what's true and, and, and what's and what's not. Um, but is there a, a sense that there is a, a, a in Israel that it's time to uh, give it to Iran, that it uh, maybe now that, uh, uh, you know, Er, there's war happening. Maybe it's time to have a war with uh, with them now. What, is, is there any sense of that? Uh, there is, um, because uh, let's concentrate on what we do actually know uh, at this particular point of time, and what we do at what we do know is uh, that the uh, Iranians have certain amount of uh, enriched uranium to the grade of a. Uh, 80, 83 or 84 percent, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and they need at least, not at least, they need to exactly 12 days to uh, get enough amount of uh, military grade enriched uh, uranium to build one uh, one nu uh, nuclear bomb. This is uh, not. This will not be sufficient to uh, make any any significant trade on Israel, uh, at least at this stage, because obviously it will be just a bomb. They do not have uh, and will not have uh, in this time the means to uh, to deliver that bomb to uh, our territory. But we uh, we remember and the, uh, the world should remember that Israel is a one bomb state. Uh, and as a one bomb state, we cannot allow Iran become, become a nuclear power. Right. Yeah, clearly. Everybody's got to get rid of their nukes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has to get rid of their nukes. That would be brilliant. That would be the best, the best, uh, um, the best actually resolution of any of any a possible nuclear conflict. But it, it's not possible.